Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Higher Mathematics. Quick video today, really like relaxing challenge. We have factorial question, we have x factorial equal to 6 factorial over 3 factorial. I know this is very easy challenge, but a lot of students make this common mistake, and I wanted to show this mistake here in just 30 seconds, it will be really interesting. Before solving this, I suggest you to pause the video, try to solve it by yourself real quick, let's check our answers in the end of the video, this is a great and tricky and tricky challenge. So first of all, here's our challenge, and one part of students solve this question like that, they say, okay, let's Let's cancel this 6 and 3, we know that 6 divided by 3 equal to 2, so one part of students say that x equal to 2, this is the most common mistake right here, so this is very bad solution if you solve this question like that. So forget about this, this is very bad solution. For solving this question we should know what is uh, factorial. Factorial, this is a product until uh, from 1 until this number, so in our case this is equal to 6 factorial equal to 1 times 2, so a product, yeah, 1 times 2 times 3 and times 4 times 5 and times 6, okay? And we divide all of this by 3 factorial. We know that 3 factorial equal to 1 times 2 times 3, okay? So let's write it like that, 1 times 2 times 3. And right here we have all the time we have product, so we can easily cancel this expression. Right here we have the same expression 1 times 2 times 3 and right here, so we can easily cancel this. And right now we still have this 4 times 5 times 6, which is equal to, so we have 4 times 5 and times 6, which is equal to, we have, we have 20 times 6 equal to 100 and 120, okay? And a second part of students say that uh, if we have this equation, we have, for example, on the left-hand side we have x factorial, which is equal to 120, and one part of students forget about this factorial, and they say that a correct answer is x equal to 120. This is the second most common mistake. The first mistake is x equal to 2, and the second mistake, x equal to 120. So this is the, these are the two most common mistakes. Of course, this is absolutely bad solution in any case, because we should find what if, the, uh, what, we, what if this x, what is this number that uh, we have factorial sign equal to 120. So we all know that, uh, for example, let's start with this 4 factorial, okay? So we have 4 factorial, which is equal to 1 times 2 times 3 and times 4, which is equal to, we have 6, 6 times 4, we have 24. So it looks like it should be a bigger number than 4, so let's check this 5 factorial, for example, which is equal to a product from 1 to 5, yeah? So we have 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 and times 5 which is equal to, we have right here 24, this is 4 factorial, we can write it as 4 factorial times 5, which is equal to 120. So as you can see, 5 factorial, this is the same as 120, so from here, so 5 factorial equal to 120, and our x equal to, x equal to 5. This is like a, our answer, x equal to 5. Forget about this solution. So uh, not, not, a few, not a lot of students solve this question like that, x equal to 2, but x equal to 120, some students solve this question like that. So here's my explanation to this challenge. I hope you understand this explanation. I hope you learned something new, but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. I hope you understand this explanation and I hope you learn something new about factorials. Moreover, I hope your answer is the same as mine and thank you for your time. Have a great day and see you in the next videos.